Hello YouTubes. So today I'm going to talk about my helmet and my camera setup. This is the latest of everything. A lot of you are interested in this and hopefully my angle here is okay. This is what the helmet looks like with the shield down. First I'm going to show you the graphics here. I made these American flags. This is the left and this is the right. That's our right flag which goes on the right side of vehicles and uniforms and you can see I've added the red center stripe all the way down. This is basically Orocal 651 all-weather 10-year rated vinyl. NASA sticker there. I'll probably do some white decals here to sort of break up this shape a little bit. This will nicely match the jacket here. So, and it's got that, I'm just going for that whole NASA spacesuit theme. Okay, so let's take the shield off. Now this helmet I don't want to have to worry about reflections. This helmet is an HJC CL16. CL16. Basically, I got this helmet after trying out a bunch of helmets. I was trying to get out of the Signet Q. The Signet Q is expensive. It's an Arai helmet. Very nice helmet, but just very expensive. And I fit into the medium shell shape. I did not fit into the small. This was my attempt to get into a smaller shell shape more appropriate for my body so my helmet didn't look too big and this is a small if you are a long oval head and you wear an awry the HJC CL16 will fit you and it will run a size smaller so that's a good thing if you wear a medium in the awry a small will fit you very nicely however if you get the IS16 the, with the visor or you get the Rafa 10 RPHA10 those are going to be true to size those are going to be a medium if you're a medium head so a little word to the wise, I'll save you some research. Okay, now my camera setup. As you guys know, I run a GoPro HD Hero 3. And here is my chin bar mount. You can see it's just got a tiny little bit of adhesion there. But this has been very stable. I mean, obviously, you're not going to try to wiggle it around or take it off. Uh, but it's very stable. It sticks very nicely. And I have a horizontal mount. You can see on the CL16 I have the chin curtain, which is an accessory, does not come with the helmet. And I poked a little hole here, and I'll show you that in a second. So when I mount up, this is my mount, which is a little dirty. i got to clean it up. Put my camera in. My angle's already set, but the camera still fits. Put the camera in like this, close it. and then plug it. This is the accessory, the GoPro adapter, mic adapter cable accessory, 20 bucks. Plug that in. And then what I've done is I've basically just run it along the mount here. And then I use self-sticking Velcro. Okay, so I use self-sticking Velcro from Walmart or anywhere. Now this, basically what I mean is, instead of having a hook and loop as separate things, this just wraps around like this. So basically it's like a twist tie made of Velcro. Ideal for controlling the cables on your mic setup. So, you know, you can get them in, they come in many colors. So I use the black one, obviously, and that tidies up this uh, connection very nicely. Now this is basically, this mount here, I don't know what they call it, but uh, this is this mount here. I think it comes with your GoPro. And then what I did is I replaced this this mount here comes with your GoPro, I think. If not, I think this also might be the uh, a help the helmet mount accessory that comes from GoPro. You might want to get one of those just in case you don't have this. I think that's what that is. And then I replaced the thumb screw here with a that's a 5 mm 20 mm long 0.8 thread pitch and it's got sort of a carbon steel gunmetal look. So what I did is I adjusted this, I tightened this up, tightened this up, and then the only angle of adjustment is here. But since the camera is pretty low profile, it fits, you know, I can actually I can actually get the camera in without even having to loosen this. So that's pretty cool. And anytime you this is Anytime you're on a sport bike, you're going to need some angle back because your head's down. So when your head's down, you're going to need angle to compensate. And of course, I use a wide view, 
so it captures a lot of my you know my handlebars and the horizon everything's good and then this is just a regular flex mic from eBay this is a Chinese mic and this was like what 99 cents a buck shipping costs a little bit more and then the time you have to wait is the biggest downside but you know be patient order a few and you're good to go this is what I use and it's quite excellent so I'm gonna show you this all hooked up so I plug this in here okay and it's tidied up with the velcro as you've seen I don't want to really loosen it but you can see um, I've cleaned it up with the gunmetal allen head screws here bolts I should say and then when I hook it up go like this there we go I try not to put too much pressure on this base plate here and then this mic goes under here now the inside the inside you see these little velcro strips this foam filter pop filter right here stick it right there and if you put enough of them in there you have a lot of options so this ends up landing right in front of my mouth <clears throat> now the chin curtain here this chin curtain actually serves as sound insulation as well just there's less buffeting so it's got a nice little pocket of stillness right here from when I'm talking and it looks pretty elegant you know you can barely even see that anything's connected I mean it looks kinda cool it's got a you know got the tube here for the the, the wires um, and it's got this it almost has kind of a, an even spacier look to it and a little scuba-esque and you know but it's really nice because it doesn't impede my vision I'm looking right over the camera and uh, it doesn't interfere with my head checks it, it just it looks good you know not there's nothing up here there's no camera like sticking up there's nothing on the side sticking up you get a nice centered view which is ideal I think it's the better view for human vision because we're used to seeing everything from our own eyes and this gets close to your own eyes uh, ideally you'd have maybe a tiny little camera right there as cameras get smaller you'll be able to do something like that and that'll happen eventually but right now they're still kind of big so this is my setup for the exact connections let's see I have this curly connector here a connector which turns 90 degrees this is a 90 degree turn connector and then this little tiny connector here yeah so that's that's a 90 degree turn and then it goes up I actually got this from this Cory 99 and I also and he I guess he got it from like um, delinquents and uh, rebel yell 91 the good thing about this is the GoPro has a an offset camera so you have this square shape but the camera is on this side so with this connection with a centered mount here the way this all works out is you have a very centered view right here to your helmet right so you don't want to center the camera you want to center the lens and this is actually pretty darn ideal okay so I'm gonna let you get a good look at it so we have this JL bracket whatever you want to call it We have a 90 degree turn and we have a little tiny connector which comes with like a lot of your accessories and we have these two thumb wheels have been replaced I'm using the stock uh, acorn nuts these bolts are 5 mil 20 millimeter 0.8 thread pitch and one thumb wheel and if you want to if you want to really tighten that just use one of these use a screwdriver and really get it tight you don't have to rely on your thumbs because you'll always be able to get it more tight with a screwdriver and I'll let you get a better look at the graphics let me know what you think so there it is this is my bike in its current state Ninja 300 so I have finally got the sea cow thank you to the uh, Ninja 300 forum someone on there alerted us that there were some of these for sale I got it the one I ordered is still not in yet I'm selling these ZX3R stickers this is actually the larger one intended for the white and the black bikes anything that's non special edition the special editions have a black section here and I have a smaller one that fits that if you want to order these go to spacepod.com I'm working on a site so you can order them and other decals that I make
Thank you.